Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Planning P6. Today we are here with the important topic which is how we can add, assign or edit relationships from the Gantt chart of Primavera P6. Also we can remove or change the relationships. The Gantt chart is at the center of most scheduling software where analysis by schedulers and the project team takes place. The Gantt chart is popular as it offers a visual display of how a project is progressing instead of a lot of text and numbers. Primavera P6 Professional Sports a quick and efficient way to draw a relationship assignment directly in the Gantt chart. Primavera P6 Sports all four relationship types finish to start fs finish to finish ff start to finish sf and start to start ss please subscribe our channel to get notified for every upcoming tutorials let's move forward to our today lecture Open your Primavera P6 software which I have already opened here. Open your project where you want to assign your relationship from the Gantt chart. Now first of all we will schedule that project. Schedule it by pressing F9 or by clicking on this sign. Click on it schedule it on the date whatever you want schedule it after the scheduling just add two columns predecessor and successors if you want to add and want to see which activities are predecessor of that activity and successors and then zoom in the Gantt chart activities and after that we have to show the relationship here you can show the relationship with this tab relationship lines in the Gantt chart click on it now you can see here the relationships are showing here then we have to add relationship tab here at the bottom layout with the help of customize activity detail if this is not showing here then you can customize from here now how you can manage these relationships like this relationship if you want to delete this relationship first of all you want to remove this relationship how you can remove it just go to the relationship line after the showing this sign you can click on that relationship it will show the relationship between the activities and that will go to the activity now you can see here the relationship of activities the predecessors and successors here if you want to remove then double click on it this tab will show here this tab will show here finish excavation before starting foundation masonry this is the finish to start relationship and you can if you want to remove you can remove this relationship and if you add this relationship or change the relationship type you can change from here with the help of this and if you want to add lag in this one you can add lag in this relationship suppose that if you want to add 15 days lag you can add easily after the adding or changing the relationship type you can just click ok now after the changing you have to schedule your project on the same date to see the behavior of your relationship now you can see the lag has been added again click on that relationship double click on that if you want to remove this relationship you can remove from here you just delete that relationship and after that this tab will show are you sure you want to remove the selected activity relationship yes 
I'm sure and I want to remove relationship. Now you can see here there is no relationship between these two activities. Now if you want to assign a relationship like finish to finish or start to start just assign a relationship like this one assign it after that like this you can see here in that tab and then click here if you want to change the relationship status just say start to start with the lag of how much days after how much days that activity start of that activity after how much days you can start it just say after the three days I want to start that activity okay then we will go again to the schedule after the scheduling you can see the behavior of this activity focus on it I am scheduling schedule it you can see here the relationship before was the finish to start now it has been changed to start to start and with the lag of three days this is how you can change the relationships manually and you can also remove the all relationships and you can also assign the multiple relationships to the activities like assign this activity to this activity and then zoom it then again this activity to this activity you can also assign this one and again if you want to assign the relationship you can go after this showing that sign of this channel you can change the relationships and assign the relationships like this and we want to assign this activity relationship you can see here the lines are connecting with each others now you can see here the lines are connecting with each others here the relationship also in this tab you can see here the relationships has been assigned and with the same method you will click on it after the tab you can change the relationship types and add the lag whatever you want this is how you can add relationships manually and manage your lags between your activities it's easy that you can see the behavior after the adding the lag and relationship you can just schedule it after the scheduling you will see the behavior of your schedule and now you can see here the multiple relationship successor has been assigned to this activity to excavation multiple successor has been assigned and also you can if you want to remove or assign you can delete from here multiple like that just by clicking delete button this is a short key after clicking on it you can press your keyboard delete button you can delete it yes I want to delete it and I want to delete as well that one okay and if you want to remove double click on that relationship after the double clicking you can delete from here as well and you can remove from your relationship like this relationship if you want to remove this relationship you can see here blue here and it's selected here you can remove from here this is how you can manage your relationship assign add remove add lag from your can chart hope you understand our today's lecture please subscribe our channel like share and comment on our channel Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.